the fun part of the garden is coming to life and we'll get to that in a minute. Hey, we thought we would give you a tour of our garden. Well, we did it, yep. we just didn't share it with you. <laughs> so, uh, it's been busy. Yeah, we got really busy just being in a hurry getting stuff in here because it's such a wet spring and such a cold spring. And yep. we just forget to pick up the camera when we do all that stuff because we're in a hurry and it takes twice as long to do all that with a camera. But we're going to share with you now. Yeah, and what it looks like towards the end of the summer. So we're in late August yep. and it's dusk. So we're gonna show you some of the extra features at the end when it starts getting a little darker. <laughs> we're gonna start here. This is the entrance, the main entrance to the garden at the moment. And we have two cattle panels um, from box to box here. And we have green beans coming up. So you probably saw on our podcast, the farmer was taking advantage of those green beans while we were sitting there. Yep. Yeah. So, what do you think about the cattle panels? I think they're turning out great. They're filling in pretty good. And I'm pretty impressed with how many beans are showing up. There. Right, there's lots of blossoms. And we were a little bit worried at the beginning of the season because we were so late. But they have finally taken hold and yeah, it's looking good. Yeah. All right, shall we take them in towards fire pit? Let's take a look. Alrighty, we're here at the fire pit, which is the center of our garden space. We wanted this not to be just practical, but also a useful space for our family to gather. And I think it's been that, especially with the way things have grown up around the edges. Yep. Yeah. Um, they kind of created its own secret garden. Yeah, it's pretty cool because when you come down here from the house, you can't really see the fire pit until right. you walk through the arches and get into the middle and then it feels like you're in this little room in here. Right. We got like this little walled space out in our yard. So that's been nice. Yeah. So let's go around the garden and yeah. talk about things. Well, we started over here to the north side of the garden with the bean tunnels at the entry. Let's work right. our way around okay. east and then yeah, behind so us. Just east of the bean tunnels on this on either side of the bean tunnels actually. I planted some marigold seeds and some basil seeds and unfortunately the marigolds are so tall that they kind of shade, overshaded the basil so yeah. we did get a little basil there's some growing in there um, but those had a dual purpose not just for beauty and for use but also as a, a companion plant so we had the marigolds and the basil and then in the front of that either of those boxes we have tomato plants so Lots of tomatoes. Yeah, lots of tomatoes. That's mostly what's in our garden boxes. <laughs> the couple of boxes further east on the other side of the tomatoes, we have some random stuff. We planted some bachelor buttons, which we use in our teas. Mm -hmm. So our harvest berry tea. And there's some zinnias starting to bloom. Yeah, our so. zinnias are blooming. Yeah, so zinnias cool. and marigold signs that fall is getting close. And then moving over here to the east of us. Yeah, we have three more boxes over here that are pretty much the same. So they're full of tomatoes, lots of tomatoes. And right now we're at the mostly green stage where we've tri I've trimmed everything back as, you know, as far as I can, trying to keep them from falling over and breaking because they were so tall. So moving around to the south side of the garden over here, we kind of have a couple of boxes that are less than practical in terms of food and more about uh, some herbs and some... Hey, all those herbs are medicine. Medicine's just as important. I suppose you're <laughs> right. And some of that is food there, but those are those boxes. If you all watched some of our grow box videos, we showed you how to build this one. And this is the taller, thinner one. Yeah, it's about like that high. Yeah, we had a little debate over what we were going to put in there. We talked about strawberries. And then when we got them moved out here, it was a little late to be moving the strawberries. So we made some little herb gardens. We've got some lavender, um, some lemon verbena, which we have a video either out or coming out soon on more on lemon verbena. Mm -hmm. um, we have some ladies mantle and some roses that I'm trying to grow over that last panel. Then I think we're behind us now is the yeah, last. Yeah, we're working away around behind us here. 
Yep, and as we're talking, the fun part of the garden is coming to life. And we'll get to that in a minute, but first let's talk about what's behind us here. Um, more tomatoes, more, more tomatoes. carrots. Yeah, more of the same. So they tried to make everything symmetrical to some degree. When you have tomatoes, I guess it's not really hard because everything's a tomato. So, But what I wanted you to share is the part of the garden that's not in a box that is behind sure. us. Sure, yeah. Yeah, so we weren't able to turn our entire garden space into garden boxes this year. Yeah. Uh, maybe more will be added next year. We'll see how it goes. Right, this is stage one. Stage yeah. one, yep. Yeah. So around the south side of the garden and back behind us on the west side of the garden, we continued to garden in the ground. And over here on the south side, we've got a bean tunnel. And it's, what, 20, 25 feet long? Made out of cattle panels. Yeah, yeah. With, you use cattle panels, and it's doing really, really good. Thickened up really nice and starting to produce some really good-looking yeah. beans. We got our first little picking off. Yep. There's a lot of blooms and a lot of little baby beans. Yeah, so. about a meal off of that. Yes. Um, but lots more to come based on the blossoms. Yep, and then inside we have stuff growing. Yep, inside I'm growing, a, tried to... Trying to grow a row of potatoes, which yeah, may not be had, the best place. Well, they were in storage and they were sprouting. So we either threw them away or we stuck them in the ground to see what would happen. Yeah, yeah and they're, they're not lost. doing so well. Yeah. And then there's some cabbage in there as well that's yep. struggling. Mm -hmm. It seems like uh, cabbage and broccoli and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, those aren't doing well. We had such a... got in here really late because it was cold and wet. So, yeah. And then outside the bean tunnel on the same side of the garden, I've got squash. Right. I this year I'm growing acorn, squash, uh, delicatas, and butter, butter butternut, some pumpkins. and I some pumpkins. Uh, sugar pie pumpkins. Yeah, they're smaller so ones. For eating, yeah. rather than jack o' lanterns. Yep, yep. And then working over on behind us here to the west side of the garden, I've got a row of cabbage, which are trying yeah. to do something again, but They've not doing so well. A lot of bug, bug pressure. I did a yeah. bed of uh, onion sets, yeah, those which are is doing pretty good. We got those yeah. in there late too. So. Yeah, they got in late. There's uh, maybe 30 foot long row there with about three rows wide, and they're actually looking pretty strong and healthy. Yeah, if the they'll... cats will quit digging them up, right. and then I've got uh, zucchini growing over yeah. there. And once again, we put too many zucchini plants in, and we're getting hordes of zucchini, which well, you would actually, think we would learn. Right, they're really slow actually. So. As much, you know, we have like 10 zucchini plants and I think it's producing like one normal one would. <laughs> yeah, there's cucumbers over there too. Yeah, cucumbers. Cucumbers. Yep, those are doing pretty good. Yep, so, I'm growing those vertically on yep. cattle panels. Yep. So that about covers our garden. It's getting really dark here, you can probably tell. Um, and when it gets dark, we have a bunch of solar lights that turn on. So we're gonna give you a little nighttime tour of the garden with the solar lights and we will catch you on the next video. So hopefully we'll get another tour in here after we get the fall stuff planted. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yep, so we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe for more growing, creating, and sipping videos. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like this video here.